Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice, turn to the Lord and his strength, constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. At the beginning of Mass as ever, we call to mind our sins, our need of God's forgiveness and healing touch. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the Father's right hand. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Merciful God, teach us to be faithful in change and uncertainty, that trusting in your word and obeying your will, we may enter the unfailing joy of Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. We continue reading from Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus. Be friends with one another and kind, forgiving each other as readily as God forgave you in Christ. Then try to imitate God as children of his that he loves and follow Christ loving as he loved you, giving himself up in our place as a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. Among you there must be not even a mention of fornication or impurity in any of its forms or promiscuity, this would hardly become the saints. There must be no coarseness or salacious talk and jokes. All this is wrong for you. Raise your voices in thanksgiving instead. For you can be quite certain that nobody who actually indulges in fornication or impurity or promiscuity which is worshipping a false god, can inherit anything of the kingdom of God. Do not let anyone deceive you with empty arguments. It is for this loose living that God's anger comes down on those who rebel against him. Make sure that you are not included with them. You were darkness once, but now you are light in the Lord. Be like children of light. Try to imitate God as children of his that he loves. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Try to imitate God as children of his that he loves. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Try to imitate God as children of his that he loves. Not so are the wicked, not so, for they like winnowed chaff shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Try to imitate God as children of his that he loves. Alleluia, alleluia, your word is truth, O Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, a reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. 
Glory to you, O Lord. One Sabbath day, Jesus, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues and a woman was there who for 18 years had been possessed by a spirit that left her enfeebled. She was bent double and quite unable to stand upright. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are rid of your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her and at once she straightened up and she glorified God. But the synagogue official was indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath and he addressed the people present. There are six days, he said, when work is to be done. Come and be healed on one of those days and not on the Sabbath. But the Lord answered him, hypocrites, he said. Is there one of you who does not untie his ox or his donkey from the manger on the Sabbath and take it out for watering. And this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has held bound these 18 years, was it not right to untie her bonds on the Sabbath day? When he said this, all his adversaries were covered with confusion and all the people were overjoyed at all the wonders he worked. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. O oh God, we ask you to receive us. Receive the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite spirit. Look, we pray, O oh Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit he took flesh, and as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross, he put an end to death by dying for us, and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will, and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Lord. You are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take 
eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of St John the Evangelist, our patron, and of all the saints, may praise and glorify you for ever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever, Lord Jesus Christ. You said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Free me from all my sins and from every evil. Give me faithful to your teaching. And never let me be parted from you. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. We will ring out our joy at your saving help and exult in the name of our God.
God of all grace, your Son, Jesus Christ, fed the hungry with the bread of his life and the word of his kingdom. Renew your people with your heavenly grace. And in all our weakness, sustain us by your true and living bread, who is alive and reigns now and for ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us abide in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.